Hello, welcome to my next video. I'm very glad that you are here and today I would like to continue from the next uh, last, uh, last video uh, the topic uh, Chopin Etude C major and uh, someone of you ask um, uh, what's going on inside of this piece so what, what are uh, sequences uh, what kind of chord connection is there so I will try to analyze a little bit this uh, piece and uh yeah to to show how with very simple um um simple methods you can improvise on on this piece so let's start the beginning is with with this uh, c major chord normally it sounds like this but yes i wrote everything very uh, in very easy way uh, C major two bars and then F major uh, F sharp in bass and uh, on half diminished chord so you can also say it, uh, 7 to 6 and then G major passing notes D major 7 G major with suspension uh, sec uh, nine to uh, to eight and four to three. So it is like opening. Chopin is starting uh, something new in his life, a uh, whole uh, a set of uh, etudes, and he want to make uh, a connection with Bach. Das wollte er mit Klavier. So the first one was the first opening in the first prelude of Bach like this and he's making also <laughs> almost the same but in another way like very dramatic very a lot of passion a lot of energy and, uh, and a lot of uh, how to say uh, yeah new way of thinking in the music or w new new way of uh, sound producing and um, yeah, this was uh, half a cadence at the end, at the end of uh, bar eight, and then he repeats the same with another uh, bass note, and then also dominant chord four to three, and then um, nine to uh, uh, to eight C major. So sixteen bars, very simple uh, opening. So yeah, like in Baroque time, yeah? and then after it, he he goes to something melancholic, minor. This is very beautiful sound. Uh, this is a five six chord, yeah? and then he goes to uh, diminished in bass uh, A the, uh, passing note, and then one more time uh, five uh, si five six chord, and then. This is beautiful sound also. This is like uh, after it uh, will come E major and he makes this is three four chords, but uh, you can see if you if you think in uh, uh, functional theory, it is like dominant to dominant, uh, dominant to E minor, E, e <laughs> major, but uh, the fifth is diminished, so not F uh, sharp, but F flat and then uh, Chopin use it a lot of this kind of sound no? so a small trip in a major a major uh, a minor sorry F the whole structure or the whole uh, schema of this um, part you can always like uh, it is uh, also opening and then like a lamento bass going as or descending tetrachord like in bass or here uh, with a leading note leading tone and then starts uh, falling fifth like and 
then comes something beautiful, typical for Chopin. He'd use it also in his E minor piano concerto, like uh, C, uh, C major flat, uh, sorry, C major uh, chord with seven, yeah, and then. What's what happens here? I I continued a little bit more, but he uh, use it. It's also falling fifth because if I if I. Uh, take this chord away, only this, like F, and then B, and then A, and then A. So this is Queenfold, but the chord, uh, it's uh, so we we have a pairs, how to say pairs, yeah, uh, two chords like one element. This uh, belong together. Huh? In C. Uh, major, it would be like uh, this one. So like uh, F minor to uh, G major seven. Uh, and this connection of those two mm, chords is very dramatic. And then, uh, if I want to improvise it, I don't think okay, it's now F. So now I need. Uh, to have a B, so half note <laughs> above B, uh, B flat, half is a B, so uh, it would take a lot of time. So I'm thinking like what happened in bass. In bass, I go like this. You can also find it in list Franz Liszt music, I think. Uh, uh, so I I'm doing this half step down and then tritonus up tritonus down tritonus up and i'm starting i'm starting with a small uh, not small <laughs> minor uh, minor three so like minor three of uh, b minor now um, tritonus up so g now comes and this is minor three uh, in and then yeah so it also depends on voicing what are you mm, playing up but uh, i think it is so complicated and so beautiful um, i would make an extra video about it because it's really fascinating what what you can do with it and also to show every examples of chopin music uh, what he is uh, how he's figurating it so after this uh, uh, storytelling here I'm now in uh, bar 35 and then still 5 down for up and then now he moves uh, two times faster he's like uh, uh, B uh, half diminished B major and then E and this is the first uh, third uh, step in, 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 in C major and this is beautiful also he's making like very and then at the end he comes back to C major so like this and one more time exposition of the main idea so half this is also um, like dominant so we can uh, think maybe it's is half uh, cadence but no he's going like uh, to, 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 to the F sharp and then more chromatically and then one more time uh, uh, he reach uh, E major and then very calm 2 5 1 cadence like jazz 
and then organ point, organ point, so like C. Then G dominant organ point or pedal note. I don't know how, how does it called in English. Organ point or pedal note uh, on the C and on G and then one more time on C. So this was like very fast analyzing of this piece. But uh, what can you do with it? I hope this video will be not too long. You can write in your comments. It is not too long. It is maybe better to make two videos of it. I have no idea. <laughs> so let me know. Um, uh, but I would like to 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 mention something. So you are you want to have fun to to fantasize on these chords. Uh, this figuration is too complicated. It's it's like a huge uh, figuration. So uh, technically, you have to, we have to practice it. But you can also uh, uh, try to make from it a nocturne, like a very very calm piece. Uh, maybe uh, you have played already uh, Moonlight Sonata of Beethoven. So maybe you can you can take this figuration. take only three notes in the right hand, not four. Now I have some eight. So it could be like a meditation. I wrote the voicing here from Chopin, but I prefer if I want to make a cadence to go down. So you can change it too if, if if you like. Now this main minor. Now I augmented it, so it's augmentation. I, in real situation, I would play it like if you want to play like Chopin, so like. Configuration. Bach, Prelude, C major. Arpeggios like huh? or but still I try to make some uh, nice melody uh, in soprano uh, to play it cantabile so I'm trying to make uh, nice voicing play like this like a little bit baroque style if, if you want but I wouldn't mix it so I would try uh, <laughs> if I go uh, really in baroque uh, stylistic I would uh, make the whole prelude like this or whole attitude like this for example um, okay now I'm here ta uh, bar 4-9 
So you have a lot of fun with this period because structure is already there, harmony is already there. You can try to figure uh, figure the right hand in another in another way, left uh, hand also, but mainly the right hand. So this was, I hope, a little bit easier way to to make something with this pre with this <laughs> I know the prelude, but this is etude of Chopin. So yeah, I hope you have something from this video for you. You can uh, start to to experiment with this music, to change, to to mm, uh, to make it your way, <laughs> in your tempo, in your character. Uh, how do you like? You can also sing this piece. This is beautiful. Like. <laughs> So yeah, with voice, with uh, with piano, it is a, a lot. There are a lot of possibilities. So please let me know if it uh, is okay for you. If it's not too long for you, give some comments or suggestions. And uh, yes, I will be very glad if we meet us in the next video. So thank you very much and bye bye.